Hi everyone, welcome back to Decorate with Dana. In today's video, I wanted to share with you how I make over and give my little half bath a farmhouse, industrial farmhouse makeover. I repainted it, it was a much darker tan, and I'm gonna show you a before picture, but you really can't tell too much of a difference, but it makes a huge difference. Um, I didn't really show me much painting, just a few little clips. Um, you guys have seen me paint several rooms before. So I just wanted to share with you how I simply decorate this room, and then I will chat with you at the end. So here is the color and the way the bathroom looked before. It's much darker. It doesn't really look like that much of a difference, but it really is a huge difference, and it really brightens up the room a lot. So this is the way it looked before, just a quick view. And we took down the old glass shelf, and I put up some new decor. So let me just uh, get going and we'll chat at the end. I go anywhere, anywhere with you, cause you feel my mind, or oh, you feel my mind. We could build a dream, start up something new, let the old be dead, let the shadows be my head. When the world is on your shoulders and you feel like falling over, just come a little. So here is how the new color turned out. It's my good old standby burnished clay. I absolutely love this color. This is now the third room in my house that I've done this color. I feel like it just gives it a little bit of color, but not too much, and it's still bright. So anyways, this is how it looks. I know it's a little difficult to tell. It's hard because this room is so small. So I'm trying to show you how it's coming out and you know, it's just really small. So anyways, this is where we're at right now. And I love that light fixture. That's definitely gonna stay. I love that green glass. The mirror is going to stay. So now I'm just gonna add some decor in here.
an overview of how the bathroom came out. It's very simple. I mean, there's really not a ton of decor in here and you guys know that's pretty much how I like to keep it. I do have some DIY projects coming up and I'm gonna make kind of a little storage thing to hang on this wall, maybe for like magazines and I don't know, just some extra stuff that we might need in here. But otherwise, the decor is super simple. But I do like, so again, I painted in that good old burnished clay by, by excuse me, by Bear. Anyways, let me just tell you what I, where I got things. So this window frame that, that I have hanging here, I purchased at Hobby Lobby. And then I put that galvanized metal magnolia type of wreath on it. And I love that. I would, I usually put a green wreath, but kind of sticking with the industrial farmhouse like theme that I have going on in this bathroom, I really liked this galvanized metal magnolia wreath. So I hung that on there. I say I have to lower it a little bit. It's not quite centered, but that's okay. I'll do that. And then down here, I just have a basic white, white towel hanging behind it. And I've had that for a long time. And then this black and white towel I got from Target. So coming over here above the toilet, I have this basket. And this was that hearth in hand um, by with Magnolia line from Target. And I just keep some extra toilet paper in there. And then up here I have that please seat yourself sign that my husband made. So this shelf I purchased from Hobby Lobby and along with that wooden sphere decor, I found that at Hobby Lobby also. And then this black little canister I found from Target and I hauled that a couple weeks ago. And then this hello sign I also found from Hobby Lobby. And then coming over here, this hand towel was from Target also. And then along with, or yes, along with this soap dispenser and this other canister also from Target from the Hearth and Hand collection. And then this mirror, I was going to replace it, but I like it because I think it just goes with the black and white theme. And then above it, I have this green glass light fixture that I love. So I kept that there also. And then over here I just have that DIY flush sign that I DIY'd about a week ago. And then down here I just have this wicker trash can that I purchased from Target. So when we first moved into this house I didn't love this floor. Actually I didn't like it at all and I don't know why that was 14 years ago. And then now it's grown on me and I love it. I absolutely love this floor. So anyways, this is how, and I just kind of stuck with kind of a black, white, galvanized metal and wood theme in here. So anyways, I hope that you guys like this video. And then I also have another little DIY project I'm just gonna put here in the corner, very small. I mean, nothing big, cause I just like to keep it simple and open. So anyways, and I don't, another thing is I don't put a rug down on this floor because this is the, this is the bathroom that we use that we come in and out of all the time if we're outside working in the yard or something. And although we do try to take our shoes off, I'm not as particular when it's on the hardwood floors and these floors because I can wash these easily as I am on the rugs. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you like this little bathroom transformation. I will see you guys in my next video. If you're new here, I hope you'll consider subscribing. I have a lot more videos coming up decorating. I'm going to do some more day in the lives that seem to go over pretty well. Hauls, cooking, all kinds of stuff. So anyways, thank you guys again so much for watching. If you get a chance, follow me on Instagram at decorate with Dana and I will see you guys in my next video.